Hey, what's going on everyone? Nick here with Alaska. Today's tutorial, we're going to discuss engine bay cleaning. This car is a 2005 and it has probably not had an engine bay cleaning in a long time as you can see. It is pretty disgusting looking. Very dirty, plastics are very faded, so we're going to take care of all that dirt and we're going to restore the plastic with Ceratrim. So let's get right after and show you guys how to get it done. Alright everyone, so for this video, the tools and the products that we're going to use are a brush to get into the cracks and crevices of the engine bay. We're going to use a microfiber to also help uh, clean up the surfaces. We're going to use the last soap and purple power degreaser to break down the uh, dirt and grease inside the engine bay. And uh, we're going to be using the uh, PF22.2 foam cannon to also foam the engine bay after we apply the degreaser. All right, so our first step is going to be taking our degreaser and we're going to spray this onto the entire engine bay area. Um, one thing I want to point out though is you do not want to do this on a hot engine because we're going to use a pressure washer um, to actually clean everything off and we don't want the, water, the cool water hitting a hot surface and causing a crack or anything like that. So you can do this to a warm engine if you uh, want to warm up the engine for like one minute to two minutes just to get a little bit of warmth in there that's perfectly fine but do not do this on a hot engine. So we're going to get started here, we're going to spray degreaser straight onto everything. The other thing to be aware of too is the air intake system on the vehicle. This vehicle, everything is relatively contained. Um, the actual air box is right here, and then we have a scoop that comes out to here. So we're really not gonna get any water in it, so I'm not gonna be uh, too worried about anything there, but you can take a microfiber, cover up any sensitive electronics, and then when you're uh, using the pressure washer, just avoid extensive blowing at that area. Just kind of try to shoot around it, and you should be fine. Or if you're using a garden hose and pressure there, same type of thing. Okay, so now for the second step. If you don't have a foam cannon, you don't need to do this, but this will also help keep the degreaser wet. And we wanna put the degreaser on first so it's underneath the soap, um, helping break down everything. And then the soap here will also help break down even more things further, but this will also help keep the uh, degreaser wet in here and keep it working. So now we're gonna let this dwell here for probably five minutes or so about to the point where it's kind of starting to dry up a little bit then you know for sure that the soap and the degreaser has penetrated stuff down in there for a majority of vehicles that are kept relatively clean or newer vehicles doing spraying the degreaser and then spraying the foam cannon and rinsing off with the pressure washer a lot of times that's going to remove most of the dirt and built up debris on something relatively newer or cleaner and then you're just going to dry it down with a microfiber um, but for this engine bay we're obviously going to have to get into it a little bit more than that so after we spray it off here with the pressure washer we will still have to go over it with a brush and uh, get into all the tiny cracks and crevices so that we can get a, uh, a nice full clean beautiful looking engine bay so Let's spray it off with the pressure washer. Okay, so even on this engine bay being extremely dirty, we did actually achieve quite a bit of cleaning here. So our uh, brush work is gonna be not so bad, um, but let's get right after that. All right, so next step, we're gonna spray some more degreaser onto here. And we're really only gonna um, spray into the areas that we're kind of working and then we'll just kind of work across the engine bay. We don't want to just saturate everything in the event that we're over here cleaning for an extended period of time. We don't want our degreaser um, doing any type of damage or anything that it's just sitting on for you know longer than you need it to be. So the other thing I do need to mention, if you have aluminum underneath your engine bay, avoid getting degreaser on it. So wrap it with a microfiber or just avoid spraying it on that surface. It will dull it down. You would have to take some uh, aluminum polish to uh, bring back the shine. Now that we've sprayed the degreaser on there, we're just gonna take our brush. It's a like medium stiffness brush here, just enough to really be able to get down into the, uh, the cracks and crevices and actually pull um, the dirt out of there and you know, get it worked out. And there really is no right or wrong answer to how well or how far you clean down in the engine bay. It's all about what you wanna do or what your client is having you do. So just keep that in mind. So this here is the power steering reservoir and it's a little bit dirty so don't be afraid to uh, clean out your brush while you're doing this. The easiest way to do it is just use your pressure washer and just blow out the uh, brush to be clean again.
Okay, so now that we have the engine bay degreased and the dirt removed, we're gonna take a microfiber towel and we're just going to dry up the actual surface here. This is gonna add another portion of cleaning to it. So if there's anything that you missed with your brush or the uh, degreaser and pressure washer, this will remove the remainder of it. So now, as you can see, just surely using degreaser, a brush, and a microfiber, and a little bit of elbow grease and a pressure washer, or like I said, you can use a garden hose with some pressure, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we have achieved quite the uh, cleanup here in this engine bay. This looks night and day. So now we're going to take Sarah Trim and we're going to uh, restore some of the black plastics on the top side here. We're not going to do everything black in the engine bay, we're just going to do the main big plastics. So here, here do the uh, coolant reservoir, the power steering, and uh, you know maybe some of these other plastics, and then probably restore the uh, radiator support here as well. But we don't have to get too in depth again. Like I said, there's no real right or wrong answer to how far you go. It really all depends on uh, your situation. You can even do your hoses and stuff. But again, these hoses have cleaned up actually really, really nice. So probably don't really need to dress them, but again, you can. All right, so now we're going to use Ceratrim and we're going to take a uh, microfiber block applicator and we're going to apply Ceratrim to the top plastics. All right, so now that Sarah Trim has dwelled for 5 to 20 minutes on the plastics under here, we're just going to take a microfiber towel and we're going to buff off the excess residue that did not absorb into the plastics. All right, so there you guys have it. We have a nice, freshly detailed engine bay.